It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well. Back with another one today. It's a mukbang of the hut. I had to get it. I had to do it. I was just in a deep crave for Pizza Hut. And once it's in your mind, in your brain, there's nothing to do but to just give in to that splurge of that crave. Because it's just, it's one of those things. It's Pizza Hut. You know what I mean? It's just like once it's there, you can't escape it. So we got a large uh, <clears throat> half plain cheese, half cheese and pepperoni. I got a well done extra cheese and it's looking fire it just showed up real 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 quick and like i don't know it's just it's uh, let's do good let's do good <laughs> what was that laugh what was that laugh anyways you guys know me i come equipped i stay strapped i got some ranch and i got some barbecue sauce and i also have well let me get those ready i also have pepperoncinis Lately, I've been back on that pepperoncini tip. I just need to get into this because it's hot and fresh and ready. Like, it's super hot and fresh and ready. Like, this is per. Oh, my God. It's too good. So, up close for you. I got the pando, of course. You have to. And, uh, there it's. <laughs> okay. Look at that. That's a cheese string. Uh, once again, as per my weirdo self, I love pepperoncini pickling liquid. I poured some of that into the ranch to thin it out, and I think it made it look so, or like just going to be so much better. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Is it weird that I kind of like this ranch more water, like watery like that? I feel like I've watched, um, some like California mukbangers. And their ranch looked thinner. I kind of like it. A little more soupy. I cannot lie. That's a future forward thing. I might go, I might keep doing that. I like that. I got to tell you guys, this is already just hitting, like hitting, crazy hitting. Look at those, that leoparding. That's actually a, a true technical term for uh, the cheese, Le leoparding, those spots. That barbecue sauce is sweet baby rays, by the way. It is the sweet and spicy. And I got to tell you, the spicy 
in the sweet and spicy, in the sweet baby rays. I didn't expect it to be to have that much kick. Oh my god. You guys have no idea. This piece is on a level right now. A little bit of spicy in the sweet and spicy. Is much more than I thought it would be. My barbecue sauce truly has a legit kick, a legit kick to it. be real with y'all today we didn't pour up a beverage because i literally wanted to get to this pizza that fast because it's all about hot pizza and i didn't even want to take the time that it takes to pour a drink so i have this pre-made one that i already had off camera Okay, right now I can say this, first off, there's a mangled piece here that I'm like feeling some types of way about, like I just want to get it because I hate it's like aesthetic and I hate that it's, mildly killing my vibe. So I just want to deal with it. On another note, What I need to say, want to say is, <clears throat> this is the best Pizza Hut I've had in, I'm going to go right ahead and say, a cool decade. This shit right here, <laughs> look at that, the back of that, that crispy crust. This shit right here hits different. Hitting so different. This shit right here reminds me or confirms why. Pizza Hut is as successful as it is.
when you're getting it at prime, at like it in its prime. It can't be <clears throat> contested. It can't be played with. And whoever invented this, like whoever figured this out, Loki Heike, a genius. Real shit. Can't be said in any other way. The dough is genius. The oiled pan, the frying of the dough. The cheese, the sauce, blend, everything. Even look. The cooking process, the way that the pepperoni crisps is genius. And I myself, I'm here for it. been loving that saying lately <laughs> I say it way too much I'm here for it I was a very basic B very internet based basic B lingo but in this life I'm sure you do it too do you ever just find that you get addicted to, like, sayings? I always get addicted to sayings. Or to, like, lingo. For, like, a bit. And then it fades away. It'll eventually go away. But I do get addicted to the, these things. <clears throat> a couple weeks, maybe a month. And then it subsides. Holy, okay. Well, I just went full crush mode on that. And I'm at the point where in my heart of hearts, I know like I'm done, like I'm basically done. <laughs> I feel full-ish, like I'm not quite fully full, but I'm full. But because Pizza Hut messes around and cuts these little shark tooths. That allows me to know that I can have this one more shark tooth slice. And then call it a video. Which is weird because I feel mad guilty I feel like this video was like short and went fast. It was because I, I was starving. And because this was just too hot to touch, like it's so good. I had to just smash. But I only have so much stomach ability. I'm not one of these People with uh, the endless chamber. There's some people out here who are just taking in way too much food into their belly, and I just I don't get I just don't understand how physically it's possible. I could crush half a large apparently, and that leaves me feeling I'm not at the edge of like extinction right now but I'm definitely it's like horizontal is in my future 
in terms of body positioning. You know what I mean? Things like that. So I got to wrap that there because I just, I can't continue. But that was way too good. Till the next one, though, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay agile.